Tonight, residents in East Palestine, Ohio, will finally get their chance to confront representatives from the Norfolk Southern Rail Company at a town hall. Meanwhile, the EPA is ordering the rail company to expand its testing to include chemicals that stay in the environment longer. Residents are still worried about their health one month after the accident. CBS's Roxana Severi has new details. When the train derailed in East Palestine, Eric Whiting filmed with his drone from home, just a quarter of a mile away. Now, nearly a month later, he still fears the contamination will harm his kids' health, but he doesn't have the means to move away. This is a chemical disaster in a town that uh, you can't be near the water without getting sick. You're worried about having your kids play in your yard or your dog go outside without getting sick, and that's, that's a shame that I have to worry about that in my own home. Authorities say so far, tests show the town's air and municipal water are safe. How are you? But environmental activist Aaron Brockovich, who investigated contaminated water in California in the 90s, says residents have reason to be concerned. The narrative needs to be this community and what happened to them. They are not stupid. They are not making things up. So far, more than 2 million gallons of liquid wastewater and about 1,400 tons of solid waste have been hauled away to seven disposal sites in four states. Just south of the disaster zone in East Liverpool, many say they don't want the toxic waste either. Who knows what's going to come of this years down the road. I don't think we'll ever find out what the, uh, what the major effects are. What the health effects could Absolutely, be. Absolutely, yeah. At the public meeting now happening in the school behind me, some residents hope to voice their concerns directly to Norfolk Southern representatives for the first time. Nora, we've also learned the company's CEO plans to testify at a Senate hearing a week from today. We'll be watching. Roxana Saberi, thank you so much.